So what we got next, Sanchez? So now we got a guy. I, th- I believe that this story comes out of Iran, but I'm not completely Iran? sure. Iran? Yeah, Iran, Iran. Iran? They Where ran. did he run to? So, uh, like they, hungry, they like ran the, away from the ran, Ayatollah, man. <laughs> he ran so far away. Yeah, he ran so far away. So uh, here's the uh, the headline. Man who feared his wife refused to tell her he had a water bottle stuck in his anus. Uh, yeah. Doctor said wrecked him, nearly yeah. killed him. Yeah. So doctors were shocked to find the water <laughs> no, they bottle, weren't. A water bottle stuck in a man's butt. They were not after shocked. He was said to be experiencing abdominal pain. The 50-year-old was taken to the hospital when his wife became increasingly worried about <laughs> his lack of appetite, constipation, and cramps. You're trying to shit out a water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. How, what, what hey, is honey, it, you what ain't is it pooped like? in almost a week. <laughs> what is it like, Sanchez? I have no idea. Okay. You you were asking me like you knew. No. Okay. I was asking you if, if you had ever tried it. No. Okay. No, I, I myself neither have. have, have I, no. <laughs> the man uh, remained <laughs> quiet about his painful secret. <laughs> painful secret. <laughs> due to being filled oh. with embarrassment and fear of his wife. According to the case study and clinical case reports journal, I'd hate however, to be his wife. the CT scan revealed a 19 centimeter bottle wedged in his anus. Jesus Christ! 19, 19 centimeters. centimeters. That's eight inches. About eight inch water bottle. Eight, eight or nine inches, somewhere in there. A centimeter is somewhere around a half an inch. Yeah. Rectal form body. Well, okay, what it's was rectal form body? So called. What was the width? Done. What was the width? Uh, it does not. Because it's the width that's going to kill you. Yeah, well, <laughs> I reckon. Because <laughs> you, remember, you said you like the round bottles, not the square ones. Did I say that? Yeah, when a long time ago. About Listen what? back to have bottles in your ass. No, I don't think I've ever yeah. had a bottle in my ass. No, because you said you want the round bottles. Well, if not I'm going to have to have ones. something show up my ass, I prefer anything to be round than square. Okay. <laughs> It's, you know, I have That's fear. why you're drinking the I, Jameson. You know, yeah, I've got fear of corners, okay? <laughs> I've got cornophobia. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> All okay. right. Back to the... RFB, rectal foreign body insertions, often require... It's, it's, they've got, got a, like a abbreviation for it because it's so common. <laughs> Shelby says that's double the size of a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but... The the VJJ is more elastic than the poop shoot, isn't it? I don't have one, so a poop a poop shoot? Yeah, no, a VJJ. Oh yeah, I, I I have no no clue about anything. But a poop shoot's kind of elastic because you ever lay those big fuckers and then all of a sudden you know you know it goes back together. Yeah, you water would, tight. Oh, you hope it does. Yeah, water tight. Water tight. Yeah, unless unless it prolapses. Water bottle, unless you got a water bottle. I almost I almost linked to a story tonight about. What they do for a prolapse anus. I was going to tie it into this, but I figured this is going to be enough. So, uh, Which makes it that much worse. Rectal foreign body insertions often require emergency and colorectal surgical departments. Patients often experience a delay in treatment due to being dishonest <laughs> and about embarrassed the of their visit. And fucking embarrassed. This can result in complications such as severe bleeding and delayed surgery. So fucking embarrassed. Yeah, we're going to we're going li- to link to this story for sure cuz it's and it's he a, fucking even didn't even put it in point it in first. Well, you had to empty the box. Maybe he thought if he put it wide end first, he could fucking take the cap off and <laughs> pour himself a drink. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a shitty drink. Oh, luckily, no, but the bottle would collapse and maybe it would come out easier. If he wanted it to come out, why did he fucking put it in? <laughs> well, it has to come out. Uh, well, yeah, it's going to come out of it. Otherwise, <laughs> otherwise, his wife's going to be asking yeah. questions. Either either he's going to pull it out, the doctor's going to pull it out, or the mortician's going to pull it out. <laughs> one of it's coming out. Well, just a little side note from a ER nurse: there is nothing that goes up your ass accidentally. Yeah, this this true. Yeah. yeah, except for that one guy that fell on the rake handle. What? Yeah, they, you know, wrecked him. Wrecked him. Hell, killed him. The guy it's, fell it's on a the, rake it's handle? It's a joke, man. Oh, it's a joke, so yeah. it didn't happen. No, well, it, to my knowledge, no, it did not really happen. 
on and accident. I, and, and I do believe that the on accident. Goes, it yeah, could have happened. It could have happened, but not plenty on plenty of times on yeah. purpose. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, All right. luckily for the man, medics luckily. were able to extract the water bottle without surgery. They well, slowly yeah, they just... removed the plastic without causing any damage to the intestine. I think all they had to do is fucking take the take the cover off. Oh yeah. And put a vacuum on the bottle, suck it so it flattens, maybe you have a couple sharp edges, you know, and then pull it out. So I'm I'm thinking this is the real reason he didn't say anything. While doctors at the Imam Khomeini Hospital in Sari did not disclaim how the bottle had gotten there. They suggested that sexual gratification is generally the driver of such incidents. Where is this at? In, at the Imam Khomeini Hospital. No, what country? I'm thinking it's, it's Iran. Fuck. Yeah, because Khomeini was the, you know, the... Oh, it's in Iran. Yeah. Maybe water's illegal and he was smuggling the bottle. Oh, I think bottle. shoving shit up your butt's illegal. Well, maybe he was just smuggling a bottle of water because his yeah. family was thirsty. <laughs> right uh, as much as as much as people would like to have you believe otherwise iran's a very you know 21st century country yeah but it's hot and it's hot yeah yeah maybe <laughs> there was a water shortage I mean, the, and he was smuggling water they may frown on shoving stuff up your butt but i think water's freely available <laughs> okay well, good right. thing it was in a glass bottle. The report explicitly stated the man had inserted the bottle with the bottom going in first to use the top as a grip to pull it out so he could stick his finger in the hole in the open hole. If he wanted to stick his finger in an open hole, he didn't have to shove a bottle right, up his yeah, ass. He, well, he probably now he could probably stick his whole fucking arm up there. <laughs> he could probably have a round of applause up yeah. there. <laughs> Park his fucking Toyota in there. They revealed they had encountered various rectal foreign body instruments in the past, such as bulbs, bottles, billy clubs, impulse body spray, cans, oh. and turkey basters. <laughs> Why does a guy need... I, I've heard of the, you know, the... the insemination? Home, yeah, the home, home uh, insemination kit, you know, with the turkey baster. But why does a guy need one? <laughs> Unless he's taking Maybe samples. Maybe like an enema. Maybe he had it filled with hot water or jizz and... Wanted to make, give himself an enema. Hey, I saw this thing about. You ever see, heard of people doing like coffee enemas? Yeah, colonics. They, yeah, they call them. They did what? Colonics. Colonics. That's what they call them. They were real popular in the eighties and nineties. They used to have like. I'm glad I was a kid. They back used to have then. storefronts. You'd go in and get a colonic, like a coffee a enema. Coffee enema. They had like uh, different. You could even get a whiskey enema and, and no shit yeah, and get drunk as shit. On that note, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> 